Hello, YouTube. This is the Lone Pantheist. Um, I wanted to address something today that, uh, this is going to kind of be a double video. My last video, uh, was just addressing the social issue again. <laughs> Uh, this why I wanted to get more in the intellectual side. Um, mainly because the reason why I'm, I'm doing this is because there's a lot of talk about, you know, rationality. And so I wanted to discuss what rationality is. Uh, there's a lot of people that say atheism is uh, rational. Um, the people who are atheists are rational. Now, the, in some instances this is true, but it really does depend on how they arrive at their atheism. It's the same way as how uh, somebody who, who's a theist theism. Um, you know, it depends on how they arrived at the theism. First off, um, for me, a rational person could be either a theist or an atheist. Uh, it really depends on how they observed, uh, not necessarily religion, perhaps the theories behind what is God, um, rather than just uh, blowing it off as uh, some nonsense about a sky daddy. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, the, the, the intelligence really does play a part in this. It really depends on how they arrived at, at their atheism or how, how they arrived at their theism. Um, for instance, uh, you know, a, a more rational look would say, well, you know, the religions are mythologically based, but they have a philosophical side to them, or, um, you know, the, the mythologies there are just to tell a story, and they're supposed to be a moral, you know, moral to that story. Or moral to the era philosophy to that story, and that type of analyzing, and if, if they are theists, you know, and they believe there's a you know sort of a hidden energy or something like that that's behind the universe. Um, to me, that really doesn't seem, you know, irrational. That seems quite rational. I mean, there, there's a lot of people who are scientists who believe in multiverse theory. So there's a lot of people who believe that there are things beyond the universe. Uh, pantheism and panentheists are uh, no exceptions. To this, they believe there is something more to the physical, material uh, um, spectrum of life. Uh, there is a sort of spiritualness to the actual process. Um, now, an atheist, you know, can also seem very rational. They can look at religion as sort of a sense of control, and maybe they don't like it, so they, uh, <clears throat> you know, they don't partake in it. But they, you know, and they just don't believe that there is anything beyond this universe. That's fine, but. If an atheist just rejects the concept of God because their prayers weren't answered or because they think that God is actually, that, the, that these religions are literally talking about somebody who lives in the sky, then that's perhaps a little different. Um, you know, it's one thing, you know, a lot of atheists will mock a religion by saying that. That isn't necessarily that they, they actually believe that's what, the, you know, God is. Um, you know, they might disagree with uh with the God or whatever, but in essence, that would actually make them, uh, you know, either subconsciously believe in it or um, just actually imagining the character up and just using it as sort of a punching bag. But um, you know, there are atheists out there who really just, you know, they don't they don't think science and religion is compatible, and that's fine. That that's rational to believe such. It's also rational to believe such that, that God and science are compatible. And that <clears throat> evolution really doesn't uh, discredit anything. Um, in, in my eyes, most Buddhists, most Hindus, uh, even most uh, Christians would, uh, in some ways, be rational. Now, um, when we get into the creationists and the people who actually believe that mythology uh, is to be taken literally, um, yeah, then, then those people you can question their intelligence on that end. But a person who says, "Well, I believe in God, but I just believe that you know that this, the stories in the Bible or the Quran or the, any other text is just sort of uh, mythological, but it, it, it's getting out of point, just trying to tell a story." You know that that's rational. Uh, we do that all the time in movies. We try to tell a moral or a story or a point, and we use like all types of special effects and just you know interesting plot points and stuff like that. You know that's just what we do as human beings. Um, I don't really think that any religion ever really portrayed gods really living on uh, mountains or in the sky. I just think that was just an anthropomorphic um, creative way of looking at it. You know, looking at the volcano, this activity you explain as like a person who's working the volcano just similarly as a person who's uh, building a wheel, uh, a wheel.
um, and a person who is, um, you know, a carpenter, you know, who's, who's actually, you know, or a person who uses, you know, a sculptor or an architect, you know, they, they're, they're, they're molding the rock and they look at the mountain, they see this activity on the mountain and they say, well, you know, it's, it's being molded, you know, like kind of like a hidden force, so they uh, anthropomorphize it and that's their way of connecting with it. You know, that's not irrational, that's just being creative. So I really, you know, I, I'm really getting to the point now where I don't really necessarily see theism as irrational. I don't necessarily see atheism as rational. Uh, it really just depends upon the person, uh, how they arrived at their theism, how they arrived at their atheism. And I don't really see this as being sort of a, a really point in their whole rationality or even logic. Um, you know, <laughs> some of the smartest people I know are theists, some of the, you know, not so smart people that I know are, tend to be atheists and not religious. So this is, you know, it, it really just depends on how, uh, you know, how they analyzed it. Do they really think about this? Do they really study the material? Do they really uh, come to this conclusion? Or are they just rejecting it out of popularity or some other uh, nonsense or accepting it out of popularity or out of peer pressure or by their, because of their parents? You know, that's those are, are points that we have to look at. Those are um, very key in finding out what's a rational decision and what's an irrational decision. But anyway, that's all I have to say, YouTube. Uh, I will probably not do another blackout video. I just do these because uh, I don't know. <laughs> it's just my voice. But anyway, that's all.